hello and welcome back to my channel today i am showing you how i made this beautiful delicious layer mini nobi cheesecake let's dive right into it this complete recipe will be made by hand and the flavor of this cheesecake is blueberry and strawberry I am creaming together one block of cream cheese at room temperature and the cream of 10 Oreo cookies, vanilla Oreo cookies that I would have removed from the cookie before making the cookie crumbs. As I go along the ingredient list will be displayed across the screen. When the cream cheese becomes easy to manage, add the granulated sugar. When this becomes very smooth and without lumps, add the cream. The very last ingredient I am adding to this recipe is the gelatin. And I am going to add this at the very, very end, just before I start layering my cheesecake. And this is because I want the cheesecake filling to flow and not stay on the countertop and clump up before time. All the gelatin for this recipe are being groomed at once and I'm just going to distribute them according to the recipe. But before I do that, I'm going to melt everything in the microwave once it's groomed and then I'm going to use it by the spoonful or the teaspoon. The cheesecake crust is just two ingredients or your cookie crumbs and melted butter. I'm going to mix these two together until it favors or resembles wet sand. To make the lemon jelly, add all the ingredients into a pot, allow the sugar to dilute and remove from the heat and set aside to cool. It's now time to add the gelatin to the cream cheese filling and start layering. Mix this until it's smooth and blends in completely with the cream cheese filling. I am using a piping bag to help me control the size of the layers. I am building these cheesecakes in a dessert mold that has been lined at the bottom with plastic wrap and I am going to add two tablespoons of the crust at the bottom before spreading it out and pressing. Don't press it too hard to make it too compressed. 
there must still be air in between. Add a one inch layer of cream cheese filling and refrigerate this for 10 minutes before adding the other layer. For the blueberry topping, add the blueberries, lemon juice and sugar into your pot. Keep stirring it at medium heat until the blueberries spring their natural juices. Remove from the heat, place in your bowl, and then you're gonna add the gelatin. Stir and allow it to cool down until room temperature. Before adding the other layer, or any of the layers, use a fork and pierce the layer at the bottom so that when you pour the top layer, it doesn't separate at the very end when the recipe is done. When you cut into it, it should be a smooth cut. Because this layer is translucent, I am adding the strawberries and then I am going to pour over it the gelatin, the lemon jelly that I made earlier. And then I'm going to refrigerate this for 30 minutes so that it completely sets. After 30 minutes, it is now ready for the third layer. And this is also going to be one inch. Refrigerate this for another 10 minutes before adding the top layer. After 10 minutes, add about 2-3 to three tablespoons of blueberry filling and enough of the sauce just to give it about 1 inch in height. Refrigerate this overnight or refrigerate it for 6-8 to eight hours. The cheesecake is now completely set. I am going to now remove the mold and the film and I am going to garnish these. I am garnishing these with fresh whipped cream and strawberries. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that when I post another recipe, you will be notified. Click the like button and drop a comment below.
Thank you for watching. Join me again on another good day for another great recipe.